Hello Voxel lovers and welcome back. I am Panda Pops and in today's video I'm going to be showing you the process of exporting an asset from VoxEdit to your workspace within the sandbox. So once you have created an asset that you are happy with or that you want to test within GameMaker, you go to File, Upload to Workspace, then select the thumbnail, choose the default animation, click Export, this will automatically open a tab in your browser. From here, we need to select uh, whether this is a new asset or replace existing asset. We're going to click new asset. Then we need to choose an asset type. So this isn't a block, so it doesn't even let us choose a block. It doesn't let us choose equipment because it's not been made off of the equipment templates. Um, however, we can choose character, prop, or pass. So a character is a non-playable person or animal. A prop is a decorative item to place an experience, and the pass is exclusive item used for seasons and more. So this is actually something new. Uh, there will be more information about the passes coming soon, but this would be if you had an experience that you wish to potentially maybe be gated uh, as people would need to purchase a special NFT uh, to be able to use this as a pass for your game. So this is a prop. Next step is to select a category. We've got lots of categories to choose from, structure, vehicles, furniture, electronics, uh, vegetation, art, animated scene, gameplay, and other props. This is a structure, and then we've got a subcategory to also choose from from each of these main categories. Complete buildings, modular parts, decorations, doors, windows, gates, stairs, ladders, and other structures. Now, I don't feel like this is a complete building. It's just a market stool, so I'm going to go with other structure for this one. And then we give it a name and description. If you are uploading this to test what it's like in the game maker, then I do suggest in the name, give it like test or version one. This can be changed at a later date. The next step is to choose up to three tags. So building, fantasy, medieval for this. And then catalysts. Now, your catalysts are how rare an asset will be, and uh, they allow so many mints of that asset. So, I am going to have this as a common. Art and prop cannot have any gems associated with them. And then select your default behavior. So you can leave this blank and all behaviors can be changed within the game maker. But for now, I'm choosing animated decoration. Next step is the gems. For the gems, we have power, defense, magic, speed, and luck. There will be a video going in more depth about what the gems do. But for now, we're going to select defense. So automatically, your asset is uploaded as not published. You can click this menu here to publish it, to hide it or transfer ownership. Uh, hiding it will mean that only people with a direct URL will be able to see this asset. From here, we can edit using these little pen tools, all of our descriptions and names. We can edit the tags and behavior. We can edit the catalyst and gems. Now let's click to replace asset, just so you can see the workflow of that. Replace an existing asset. The filter is always automatically on unpublished. If you're unsure where your asset is saved under, then you can click all and type in the name. So I can already see it here, Pandonian Goods Market Stool. You would click this little button in the corner and click replace and go through those steps again. Hopefully now you understand how to export to Workspace. If you have any questions, do leave a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you can be notified when we upload brand new videos. As always, have a good morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are in the metaverse. Goodbye.